All right, guys, I haven't been playing that much last couple days. Um, two days ago, I had pre-recorded um, two videos at once, and then yesterday I did the coaching. So it's been almost two days at this point. Actually, it's, it might be a little bit over that considering the time where I'm at that I played. So um, dropped a bit. I'd like to get some more wins. Um, there is an absolute enormous amount of aggressive decks on the ladder. And so we're going to try and capitalize on that by playing Vraska, who has historically done very well against creature decks. So I'm trying to capitalize on that. And then I have a couple of uh, couple of things to do in this deck that can just end the game really quickly. The main one being Grim Echoes with the Brontosaurus, because making five of those is just lights out against uh, basically everything that doesn't run Day of Judgment. Uh, Lava Wave's not even good enough. And I want to ensure that I'm fighting for the board uh, consistently because I don't want to um, basically have an opposing board to Domri and they lava wave me and I die. So I want to constantly be fighting for the board and keeping their board at a relative, you know, like manageable amount. So if I get lava wave, don't just lose the game. So um, the other thing we have is Crusher Worms that ends the game against uh, a lot of things as well. And we run the Primal Summoning to help us uh, find the Crusher Worms and the Grim Echoes. Now that's six nine drops. The rest of the deck is pretty low, but since the curve is high on the end over here, um, we're running a decent ramp package. So we get the Barkhide Growth. Then we have the Monstrous Mole, which I'm trying for the first time ever. Um, and if it dies on our turn, then we're gonna ramp twice from its death and it's a pretty solid body to begin with. Then Primeval Titan, because it's just super huge now. It doesn't die to Lava Wave, which is great. And um, will help us ramp without losing a whole turn like a, a Shrine or Birds of Paradise, where you basically have a useless thing that you know you lost tempo from. Birds of Paradise not as bad because it's just cost one, but Shrine's a huge tempo loss. This is the other target we can have for Grim Echoes. And if we Grim Echoes this, uh, we're going to win the game because if we get board wiped, then they just die. Uh, we have Soul of the Wood just for some more uh, heal. This is for more spot removal. This is even more draw. Uh, this again, this is also some ramp in the list. Then we have the Foul and Turn to Stone as our you know regular removal package. And then we're running the Old Graveyard because unlike Portal, it doesn't stop us from going through our deck and can give us uh, free bodies. And if we're ramping, it shouldn't be that bad. Look out because it got buffed. And it'll help us a lot against a fairy, also against opposing Domeries. We can play this Disarm Their Worms Wake. And it's like, basically this card reads against Domery sometimes. Like, debut, uh, your opponent skipped their last turn. Uh, so that's uh, really, really powerful. Uh, we have Stag to continue to fight for the board, like I was saying. So yeah, that's the... Uh, he's messing with his cone. He just had surgery. My puppy, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're reversing a Chandra. This is exactly what I was talking about with just hyper aggressive decks on the ladder right now. So let's see if um if the deck can uh, capitalize on this, right? The whole intention here. So we're just gonna mull for nothing but cheap stuff. Okay, so we're gonna put back Crusher Worms. I'm gonna keep the other two. This is perfect. This is really close to ideal here. I mean, this is pretty much ideal. I'm probably gonna lead off with uh, Scorpion, but I might lead off with Wolf. I don't know if I wanna bog down my deck with Barkhide Growth this early, but we'll see. The heal two from this is also really powerful. And uh, Soul of the Wood potentially healing us for six at some point is really nice. Hopefully they don't have a haste creature to start the game off with and we can breathe just a little bit. But if they have the one drop, 2-1 Haster. Okay. Now, I'm going to play this even if I get the Wolf because this can contest it. And if they lead off with uh, Minotaur, then I'll play Soul of the Wood afterwards. Because this can get shocked where Soul of the Wood can't. Good. It wasn't Minotaur. So now they're going to have to pass, which is great. Um, I am going to play Soul of the Wood still to utilize my mana completely, and like I said, neither one can get shocked. That's really, really important. And as soon as I get to 6, then stuff's going to start getting crazy. And if I've already halted them, then this is just fantastic. Okay, I mean, I will gain... Um, I'll definitely gain 3. 
So I will block here and then um, just play my double twos. And it's really unlikely that they have another flame shot, so it won't be too bad. Yeah, double two seems pretty good. That seems... Is this better? I don't know if it's better. I mean, a second flame shot, they would skip their turn again, and I would only take three. Let's get let's get two bodies on the board. But the stag is the stag was really really tempting there. Not gonna lie. All right, so we healed for two. Let's see what they got. Yeah, I really want to rip Barkhide Growth actually, so I can go directly into Primeval Titan. They did have the second one immediately. Well, like I said, we're only taking three. Hey, lay down. Alright, so we're gonna do this. And I guess we're just gonna naturally get to six next turn. Hopefully they don't have Fire Spelled Elemental, that'd be really bad. That'd be really, really bad. Okay, good, good, good. Well, yeah, I'm gonna block. <laughs> This thing took out two of those, I'll take that. Jeez, if I draw a cheap creature, I might stag and cheap creature. I didn't. Burn through really sucks here. Burn through all the adult whatever, I'm taking 9, 10, 11. I'm gonna have to risk it because the stag is too low impact, so we're gonna have to see. If this can't even handle it, I might have to go to like a full blown control version. It's actually really good um, because they can't summon the uh, six drop. And I can still trade with a fire spot elemental and I'll take five, which isn't, you know, it's not great, but. Okay. Gotta turn the corner pretty fast here. So I'll have eight next turn. Maybe it's mole this. Hmm. I want to get the damage in. Yeah, I gotta get the damage in. Okay. Kinda wish I had the behemoths in. I was really thinking, I was heavily, heavily, heavily considering putting in behemoths. Okay, can't gain health, that's... Not a super big deal. Okay, though, look, that didn't go to face. That's great. Okay, I just drew the Crusher Worm, so now we can attack. Um, they're looking to trade here, so I'm going to give them that irresistible trade. It's irresistible. Exactly. They're going to take this. Yep. Now, if they run lava wave, <laughs> I don't know what to say, but we'll see. Not that they're close to it. Yep, got to give them the most options possible. But they're gonna lose their board next turn if they don't block. Uh, I mean, die if they don't uh, if they don't lose their board to blocking. Yeah, this is totally fine. Sure. Actually, and if I bark hide growth, they're gonna have to give up both things when I swing. Which is really funny. Yeah. 
so all are connected now they have to give up two things oh no excuse me still just one to put them at one okay they're really going for it here um Okay, seven mana, one health, four cards. I'm at ten. I've already seen one lava axe. I've already seen at least one shock. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Justice will prevail. Well, it was kind of scary, but I mean, finishing health at ten is, I think, is pretty high against the Chandra deck. So, another Chandra. Okay. Wasn't expecting another one, but I mean, it makes it makes sense. I don't think it was the same person. Hey, quit the whining. That's rumble, champ. Different land, okay. Um, the two and the three. I mean, the two, two and the four, are okay. Okay, perfect. Got another one. Grub is fantastic, um, just to be a blocker and then get one ramp, so I can go um, like two, three, four if I block with this on three. Listen to nature. So that's that's great. Or um, if I draw a wolf. I might wolf. I just really like that um, the lookout can't die to shock anymore, which is making me want to play that over the wolf, right? Hello. Good to see you. Hello. Okay. Yeah, I really want to play this now because I don't want him to shock and deal three. So, yeah, I'm just gonna look out here. Everything from up here. That buff to the defense is really, really huge. Yeah, we can one for one. That's fine. Now, next turn, if they shock me, at least they can't Minotaur me as well. Oh, actually, they can, because they still have the Fragile Mana Gem. Yikes. Now they can. And again, I'm fine with doing this trade, even though this could do the same job. It's all about the shock. I don't want to take another three. Okay, so Flame Shot, and then I can stag this, so it's not, like, super terrible. I could put both of these out. I also just don't want to put the thing in. I'm doing this. I don't want to put Bark Hide Growth in my deck yet. Turn to Stone's really good if they have Fire Spout Elemental. I can like chump it for a turn and then go about my stuff. Okay, that's not that's not too scary. What else you got? Okay, that's not too bad either. That's gonna stop me from playing this though, because I really want to heal. Yeah, I'll just go double grub. I can attack. Attacking's fine. Yeah, right now I'd much prefer it if it was still a one drop 2-2. Two, two. Great. Um, do I disarm traps and swing? I think I do. I don't trust what they've got. It could have been a worm's wake as well. So this could be them scooping. If this was uh, like worm's wake or something like that. I haven't seen their splash, I don't believe. And now I can heal myself. And if they pyroclasm, then I'll go to nine if this doesn't trigger next turn and I can primal summoning, hopefully into Worm's Wake, that'd be great. Or, um, call a Crusher Worms, Crusher Worms. Burn with me. Yeah, that's not impressive. That sucks. That but I have this. Are they dead? Yeah, if I take that and they don't do anything else, they die, right? Three, six, nine, twelve. Will it let me activate this if I don't have a spot for it? I don't know. Let's just take a little less. It's fine, and I'll get the um, I'll get the two two stone. It's okay.
Well, that is real spicy, my friend. But unfortunately, you are dead. That was that's horrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Justice will prevail in the end. Hey, look, I got a hats off to you. Like that's that's pretty spicy, my friend. All right, reversing a Rawl. I'm just really happy it's not a third Chandra, right? Vraska historically does very well against Rawl, especially if we're able to get Brontosaurus down early. And especially if we can Grim Echoes, they have no way out of that. Um, if I see a foul, I'll probably keep it to answer like a thing in the ice or Mizium. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I'll put that back, but the rest of my hand is pretty good. Yeah, that's better. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Or I'll get some hype when he says let's go either way. I will play Wolf immediately, however, so I can Bark Hide Growth, and, um, I'm gonna say immediately, I mean on my, uh, second turn, because I want to use that Fragile Mana Gem to get to this quickly. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna pass here. Also, that keeps this for an emergency turn three foul on something that needs to be answered, and Tusker can answer a thing in the ice. Looky, looky. Um, yeah, this doesn't die to shock, so Tusker first. If they go through all the trouble of flipping this, stunning this, and attacking me, I'm gonna attack, get the four damage in, they won't block, and then I'll foul it. Some things never change, guys. Some things never change. Beautiful premium, I'm not gonna lie. I respect the, uh,. I respect the premium. Okay, this is a little much. I mean, I was already going to be stunned, but I mean, they were just trying to flip it. That tells me if I foul, they don't have that much going for them, which is great. So, yeah, we're going to have to foul here. And then next turn, I can go double twos. I might even go uh, Merchant of Death with this instead. I like kind of like this more, actually. Of course, I don't know. Grub's pretty good too. Lots of good two drops in my hand. That's slow. Yeah, so we're gonna do this, and I think we do this. And then next turn, we're gonna go probably double twos again, and just go really wide and make these Chaos Lightnings not good. Flight is, 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 that's, that's, that's saucy. Spark a genius. I already used one to anticipate, so yeah. Ooh, premium, man. It's beautiful. Idea. It's beautiful. I like what this man's putting down. What are they gonna play for two that I care about, or three? Nothing. Great. Titan and a Titan's won't be nasty. I'm playing the lookout now because um, it could absorb potentially two more damage from like a raw chaos lightning. Because the Merchant of Death only has one toughness, right? If that was Merchant of Death, it would have killed my Merchant of Death. Case in point. Now, if you Pyroclasm, I'm going to be real happy. Because I'm just going to start, start this train into this train with a Crush of Worms. So... This card's so good now. Are you doing that just to Chaos Lightning me? You can't be. Now, maybe? Yeah, that's fine. I'm barely gonna take any damage. This dude's super, super dead. Fantastic. Oh no, I'll be at like 18. <laughs> exactly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I love the laugh. <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's got to give them the best chance possible. It'd be really funny though if they played two cards and then had no hand. And I will just primal summoning next turn. 
Um, sure. Here's a wild idea. Hopefully, it's not too ridiculous. Now, if, if they had another, oh no, chaos lightning here is still fine. Okay, they're losing two cards anyway. Now, what are they gonna do for two? Play another thing in the ice? Scepter. Okay. They're using it now because there's stuff that they want to keep. I totally get it. Okay, I'm gonna search for Crush of Worms here. Because that will just end the game. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Even if they have Lava Wave, I can just summon another one. Man, this deck did exactly what I wanted it to do, man. Like, perfect. It's, I think it's a... I think when Vraska is a good deck, that's a really good sign that the meta is healthy, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, play <laughs> Trap for the Scepter. <laughs> It'll save you. I can also play this and then sack it off and gain 6 health next turn if nothing dies, which is also hilarious. Mm hmm. Gotta search for them outs, I guess. No! Grim Echoes! Turn of Stone's great. Dude, if you Chaos Light me, it's doing nothing. Okay, this is the scoop phase. We're entering the scoop phase. Is that what we're doing? Oh yeah. Yep, scoop phase. Uh, justice will prevail in the end. Sweet. I like it when a plan you comes together. Alright guys, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Uh climbed a decent oh, bit. I forgot what I was at terrifying. the beginning, but um you know, decently into the top fifty now. I think I might just play Vraska um whenever I'm not doing a video right now. I think um there's a few changes you could make. Um let me see here. Maybe this is something I could do. So if you don't have Grim Echoes, you can just slow down your opponent more by maybe running some Drain Bloods, maybe some Infests. Also, um, I don't think Brawling Behemoth is a bad card to play at all, so that's an easy swap for this. Um, also, if I did that, I would probably take this out of my deck as well. Um, for Brawling Behemoth or um, you know, just something a little bit more interactive, a little bit more controlly. So if you're missing some cards in this list, but you have like the Primal Summonings, maybe Maybe that's something else I should say. If you don't have Primal Summoning, what's a card that you could run instead? I would probably run Dodge Death, um, because then you can trigger your Merchant of Death on your turn whenever you want. Um, you can run things like Throne to get more card advantage. So there's a lot of easy substitutions you can make and still have the same general feel. And against certain matchups, it would be even better, like if you had Infest and Drain Bloods and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.